Hi guys, welcome to day four. Day four. Okay, I keep forgetting. Is that a day? Saturday, Wednesday, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Today is Wednesday. Day five of our trip. Uh, so today, I basically, tell you about what happened yesterday. I left you when we were going to Madlis Resort. Um, the ride there from Forozani is not really far. Okay, when, when we were going, it felt like it was far, but coming back, it actually felt shorter. And then, so like I said before, main transfers around here is to buy a boat. So we took a boat to Majlis. Uh, so it's one of the like, best restaurants around here that you just must visit when you're around here. Uh, it's best in terms of ambience, like it's a really beautiful place, it's magical. You're going to see videos of what the place looks like. Though, okay, I'll go to that later. So it's actually a really beautiful place. And then other than that, they have like very, if you want to do a photo shoot or something, it would be a nice place to go to. Or if you want to, you can actually even do, uh, like for those who want to do beach weddings, it's a nice spot. But then it is also pricey. So when you're going there, you need to like plan yourself well enough for the price. It's not like really expensive, but let's say you need from between 1500 upwards to get like a really good meal. And then they also have really nice cocktails, but yeah, you also need to just carry enough money for that. But it's actually a really good place that you just can't miss to visit. They even have um, accommodation in case you want to spend the night there. So for us, we, we wanted to go there mainly to do like to relax and then take photos and have lunch and come back. But unfortunately, it started raining. It was stuck there for almost two hours. So one thing I didn't like about the place is the fact that their restaurant is actually made for summer. So when it started raining, like it got really cold over there like, with rain dropping inside the restaurant. So of course they had, they, they try to like cover up with tents and stuff, but uh, I feel like they, they could have done better on that aspect. So the best time to go there is when it's actually very sunny. If you think it's gonna rain, you better stay where you are and wait until it's sunny to go there because you won't even get like, really good photos if you go when the weather is dull. Wow, it's been raining for about two hours. So like we didn't get to do a lot of shoots at Majlis. We just ate lunch. Yeah. So we, we, we didn't actually get to take very many photos because like I'm saying the weather changed. But at least I have some videos for you to just give you a brief of what the place looks like. But let me say the photos don't even do enough justice to this place. It's just way beautiful. You need to like see it for yourself <laughs> to get the experience.
uh, after match list we came back and just relaxed had our dinner played our board games as usual yes like don't, don't forget to come with the board games though um Horodani actually has some board games that you can borrow and just use to play for free so if you forget you don't worry they got you but it would be nice to carry whatever you want to play and then yeah but basically that was yesterday it's more of a relaxed day and then today is our last day here already the first group has gone back to nairobi uh, my, my flight is at 4 pm so basically i think i'm going to old town to do some last minute shopping and just uh you know saying goodbye to the place till like uh, at least uh for then allows you to stay around like you can check out from the rooms by like 10 but they can still let you stay around during the day as long as you're not in the rooms so yeah i like that about them that they don't chase you out early morning so you can even have a walk around the beach just tell the place goodbye before we head back to nairobi at 4 pm but generally it's been an awesome experience i love lamu i definitely come here again i had an awesome group of people like i met new friends i learned a lot from each and every one of them it was really awesome thanks to uh just Shiyoba. this was an amazing trip in case you're planning to to travel to lamu i mean there's no other way this is just Shiyoba. I mean, just follow her on instagram if you haven't already and you'll be able to like get her website and updates on trips she's planning because she does trips to different places yes so be sure to check her out and plan your next trip with her especially if you're a lady because she does work in girls trips yeah that's basically it so my people we've come to the end of the lamu series i hope you've had fun i hope you've enjoyed each and every episode i hope um you've learned and i hope you've um fallen in love with lamu and you're planning a trip to to the place like really soon so one thing i never told you guys is that this was a giveaway yes i won a giveaway by just Shioba. So I didn't pay the 40 USDC charge she charges for the trip, but my my people, I can assure you that it is totally worth it. Like the experience I had was like if I had to pay this, it was like it would have been totally worth it. So yeah, just letting you know that don't be afraid of these giveaways you see online. You just never know. Like luck might be at your door on that day, you know. So as long as okay, don't don't again get con. <laughs> yeah trying to get into a giveaway as long as you know these people i mean also the influencers usually have different giveaways so you might as well try your chance and you never know what you might get so i'm really really grateful to ryoba for giving me this opportunity i mean even if i went there i wouldn't have stayed at forodhani i wouldn't have um gone to majlis like i would have gone to other areas that um, are probably like cheaper let me just say cheaper yeah and i probably wouldn't have had the entire experience i had so i'm really great i'm really really grateful to ryoba do follow her if you really haven't but i'm sure you all have i mean she has amazing content and yeah don't be afraid of getting into these giveaways you just never know when, when your luck might hit on the when you like when your luck might knock on the door uh so for me the only thing i had to do was pay for my flight from nairobi to lamu and back and uh for the covid test yeah so that was basically all i paid for but the entire trip like accommodation uh activities and food breakfast and dinner that is was on ryoba yeah how lucky i know <laughs> i know right yeah so i i mean i probably wouldn't give you an exact estimate of how much you would need for a trip to lamu because i didn't know like i've said i didn't uh, like have a budget for that i only had to pay for air my air ticket but i'm sure from my videos you can gather one or two things that are going to be very helpful for your trip so i yeah, don't hesitate to watch all the episodes if you haven't for you to gather all the info you might need before going to lamu watching my vlog if you haven't subscribed please do share like and all those things this is the last video of the lamu series thank you for watching this until next time it's been real